Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today and I am super excited to share this spring card showcase with brand new Hero Arts 2021 catalog release products. Sit back and enjoy because I have used tons of new products for my cards today. There's really only two different card designs, but I did create five cards with this. I had to cut my creativity short. The products arrived to me a little late with all the bad weather going on in the country and then um, power outages and things. I decided to just go ahead and get these cards done, but I will be sharing more coming soon. I am so inspired and I absolutely love, love, love this release. So of course, probably the thing that jump started or just stood out to me first is this gorgeous new um, butterfly stencil. This is called the butterfly circle stencil and I am simply taking some of my very favorite colors of Hero Hues ink and going around in a circle to do this beautiful rainbow butterfly effect. I am using a little post-it tape to mask off that circle in the center so that I don't add ink accidentally in there. I didn't want to apply the ink to that circle for this particular card design. To figure out how I wanted to do my ink, I went through the circle and I just counted kind of the points of the circle, if you will. So the butterfly sticking out the furthest, there are eight of those. So I came up with using eight inks. We're using taffy, fruit punch, Creamsicle, Lemon Drop, Green Apple, Pool Play, Splash, and Thistle. And I'm going to repeat this for four card backgrounds. This was very quick and easy, and so I did go ahead and do um, all four of these. And then my second card was actually going to be two different cards with all the die cuts, but like I said, we're just going to... I was so afraid we'd lose power and my post wouldn't go up, so we're just gonna wrap it up quick, quick and just do one today. This was very fast. Um, I did not clean my stencil in between each. I just taped down another piece of paper, taped down my stencil, added the ink with these blender brushes. If you've not used the Hero Hues ink before, they are fantastic and have a lot of the same properties as a Distress ink. These are reactive with water. You can watercolor with them. You can spritz them with water and get some of those great results. They're just really fantastic. Plus they blend beautifully. I am a huge, huge fan of these reactive inks from Hero Arts. I think they are absolutely gorgeous and there are a couple of new colors of ink in this release. I do not have them yet, but when I do, I will definitely try those out for you and just kind of show you how they work with maybe the colors you already own. Now, when we have all of our backgrounds created and that shifted a little bit on me, what I love about stencils is it's so easy to just line it back up. When we have this done, I decided to do one of my all-time favorite techniques, and that's a little text stamping over a background. So not only are these cards gonna have lots of layers in the, kind of just with the stencils and the background stamping and then a little bit of sentiment stamping, um, the look of layers, I should say, but without the actual bulk. So they're going to be super male friendly. I'm always looking for a bunch of male friendly type of cards. And I just want to tell you guys a little FYI, anything you see here today, all five of my cards are actually going to go out in my mail at Monday feature that I do here. Um, through my social media and YouTube, I have a sign up form. It is listed below in the uh, box underneath the video. Sorry, I couldn't get that out. Um, so if you wanna sign up to potentially receive a card from me, um, you can definitely do that there. I just randomly choose 10 people. This week I'm actually choosing 20 to send out cards to just to send a little happy mail every week. 
This is the bold script back, bold print script, bold prints background. Gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I can't talk. This is probably one of my other very favorite products from the release. It is beautiful. I can see using this all the time. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know I love a script background, no matter what kind of script it is, because I just find them super versatile. We're using pool play to stamp that over our background. It's nice and subtle. It's not overpowering our butterflies at all. It just adds a little extra something to the background with not without overwhelming. Next, we're going to take another background stamp. This is the Butterfly Garden Background Cling. It's a A2 sized background. So beautiful. Um, I could definitely see this colored and used in lots of different ways. We're actually going to use it in a kind of a unique way today, I think. I'm prepping my cardstock with a powder tool, and then I'm going to stamp and emboss this. I'm going to stamp with the Hero Arts Embossing and Watermark Ink and Heat Emboss with White Embossing Powder. And then we're going to die cut sentiments from it to use on our card. So we're not actually using the background as is, but this is instead gonna give our die cut sentiments a little extra something. I could have definitely gone with just a single color sentiment if I wanted to. This just adds a little something extra. This would also be really beautiful if you wanted to ink the entire background and use it as a background for your card um, without coloring all those little bits and pieces. If you are super inclined, I think it would be beautiful colored. Um, it would just be a lot of work because look at the detail in this stamp. It is stunning stunning I really think it's so pretty hero arts really brought their a game with this release I know I probably say that every time but I just everything I pulled out of the box I was like oh my gosh wow so beautiful really inspiring I kind of instantly pulled everything that just immediately grabbed my attention and that's kind of what you're seeing here today but I'm sure you'll be seeing lots more from me because there are some um, incredible, you know, their scene building, layering stamps and things that I just love. The city, or the heroescapes, pardon me. Um, there's a city. That's why I said cityscape. There's new heroescapes. There's like New York City and stuff. And I'm really eager to use that as well. Definitely drop me a note in the comments after you have looked through the entire spring release and tell me what you would like to see. I will do my very best to do a video or videos on the things you guys are interested in. Um, if you like the HeroScapes or maybe you see some of the um, other there's some florals. I Guys, I can't even tell you all. There were a whole bunch. I had to, simply for time's sake, I kind of had to narrow it down to my absolute favorites or what I instantly had an idea for. Um, but I have like several stacks on my desk of things that I want to use. So just look through the release and let me know. I want to hear from you guys. So now I am taking the Hello There Stampin' Cut the um, Big Hug stamp and Cut, and also the Happy and Thanks stamp and Cut. So these are, these are only three. There's actually another one. It was just a little too big, at least one more. There's a Love You stamp and Cut as well. It was just a lot bigger sentiment, so I didn't think it worked on these cards as well. I, it's in my love pile too. Um, these are incredible. So you get a die and then you get tons of phrases that go with it. I love Stampin' Cuts because I love that they just come together and you can do so much with them. Um, and sentiments are always something I am drawn to, especially good sentiments. The fonts are good. The size of the dies are good. You guys know I love my I love me a good die cut sentiment uh, paired with a little stamp sentiment. So you're gonna be seeing that here today. Um, I'm kind of just trying them out in the card centers now. 
and they definitely need to be reinforced. I have to say, I usually use a 110 pound weight Nina cardstock. It's a little bit more substantial and thicker, and I am down to my last sheet and a half. I do have an order coming. It should be here anytime, but of course you guys know weather and everything like that. So it might be a little delayed, but I do have some 80 pound and that's what I use today. I do not love it as much just because it's not as thick. So it's not going to stand up as good to some vigorous ink blending. So I'm being real careful. We're doing embossed resist with pool play and splash. And then I die cut the sentiment a couple more times from a Simon Says Stamp slate gray cardstock. We're gonna glue those one directly on top of another. And then we're gonna do one of my favorite techniques, clear back from my scrapbooking days when I used to do a lot of silhouette die cutting. Um, on the silhouette die cutting machine, I would die cut my titles and things for scrapbook pages. And I'm slightly offsetting it for it to have a little bit of that shadow effect. And I love this because it really helps it stand out from the background. And then I'm simply gonna put some glue on the back and put this in place on my card. How about all that ink on my fingers too? It was a big crafty day here. Six cards today, that was a big one. I've got a lot of uh, video work to do. I'm gonna put some acrylic blocks on top to help hold that flat, and then we're simply gonna repeat this for the other cards. I did cut out some of this to save some time. And then we're going to move on to stamping our sentiments. I played around with a couple of things, but ultimately I decided a nice bold sentiment with the script phrases that I'm picking from these Stampin' Cuts are gonna work the best. So I kind of already pre-picked out what I'm gonna use and I think I used all scripty ones. <laughs> yep, I sure did. So it's all the same font. They're just not super teeny tiny. I tend to gravita gravitate towards teeny tiny ones, but these are so exceptional. They work really well with these big die cut sentiments. And so stamping this with a nice bold black ink right on the background, I think works the best. I don't particularly love this size of a font in a sentiment strip. I did try it, I did not like it at all. So we're gonna go with this and then we're gonna be adding little heart accents to each of our cards. And that's gonna, just a little colorful um, clay heart here, a little foam heart, whatever they are. I absolutely love them. I use them on everything. These are a little bit bigger and bolder than the tiny ones that I often use. And again, I just picked a random assortment of those and I'm going to stamp the rest of my sentiments. So the happy one is the only one that went above. I will give you an idea though for the happy and thanks stamp and cut. You get phrases like, you make my heart happy, which I believe is what I used. Thanks, you could use thanks for being a great friend. Thanks for all you do. Thanks a million. Thanks, I appreciate you. Thanks, you are so kind. And then um, you could do wishing you a, use the die cut happy and then a birthday. Um, there's like, thanks so much. Thanks for being you. Um, happy everything. You make me happy happy for you, happy birthday, lots and lots of things. And that's going to be for all of these. That one is a bigger one set. And then the big hugs and the hello there are a little bit smaller, but I used you're the best. There's also hello there, happy birthday. Hello there. Just, or just wanted to say hello there. Um, hello there. It's been a while. Hello there. I love you. You guys get the idea. It's so, so good. I really love these because you can literally use these over and over and over with all kinds of different backgrounds. Um, maybe butterflies are not your thing. You could use anything, um, things you already have. I think these new sentiment Stampin' Cuts are a fantastic basic for our crafty stashes. I am going to now take all my backgrounds and glue them in place 
on white top fold card bases and glue down our little heart accents. I'm just playing around with different colors, seeing what stands out. And again, I'm only adding one to each. I don't think they need a ton. I think the stenciled and stamped background and then the bold sentiment stand on their own. And just super duper fun. I will tell you my other idea for this that I just didn't do today for time is to do all the inking just like I did for the background and then go ahead and take some Gina K iridescent glitter glitz gel and put that th um, use that with the stencil to make glittery rainbow butterflies. I think that would be gorgeous. Next is kind of a recreation of a card I did in January of 2020. So a lot of these products are actually re-releases from the January 2020 My Monthly Hero card kit. It was so uber popular and I have to tell you it's probably one of my all-time favorites as well um, that they released these products and I'm using the envelope accessories fancy dies and bouquet accessories fancy dies to die cut bunches of white florals and greenery and then coloring them in with Copic markers. I have listed the Copic markers I'm using across the top of the screen. This is one of my all-time favorite techniques with florals and in particular hero arts florals i've done quite a few cards with this technique for them because they just bring out the most detailed gorgeous dyes that are begging to be colored with markers i think they are phenomenal and like i said this was one of my all-time favorite my monthly hero kits and I'm thrilled that they're offering this for purchase now. In fact, I'm thinking when I got the kit, I don't know if the envelope accessories was an, um, an extra at that time or not. I, I really can't remember. I'd have to go back and look. Um, but I'll tell you how much I didn't know that they were going to release this. Someone asked if they could have my, my monthly hero, dies from this and I gave them away. And so I actually didn't have these anymore. I'm really thrilled to have them again. Um, somebody just wanted to use them and I said, oh, you can go ahead and keep them. And now I kind of regret that because they have got so many in their collection now. I'm thinking like the fall ones in particular and things like that. And I think there's some uh, holiday ones that I have used for different cards that I would love to see them mixed and matched. And with the cold weather we've been having, I have all of the spring vibes. So we definitely, definitely went springy here. I'm doing like red, pretty traditional, like some red rosebuds, but then I'm doing kind of some peachy pink flowers. Um, we're going to have some like little kind of yellowish white bunches and then lots and lots of greenery. I have found that my favorite floral cards include a lot of greenery. They may not seem like the most quote unquote fun image to color. And especially when you've colored multiples and you're kind of tired of coloring that color combination, maybe over and over, maybe it's just me, but I do get a little tired of that. Um, but there's nothing better than being able to tuck all those little extra pieces into your bouquet. I know I've done some cards in the past where they've been a little light and I always know that what would have made it better is more greenery. So uh, while the florals and all those pops of color are super great and fun, all of that greenery just really fills in a bouquet beautifully. Little YR30 is the base for these little teeny tiny flowers. I mean, look at the detail on that die cutting or that die. It's so good. And then YR31 for detail. And you'll notice I'm not coloring every single die cut on camera, just trying to save a little time. And I did die cut a few more pieces than what I actually end up using. Funny story about that though, is I originally thought I was gonna do two cards. 
um, one with florals tucked into like the bouquet, which is the one I'm doing, and then one tucked into the envelope. And for time and everything, I opted to just do this one. So I thought I had die cut plenty of images for both cards. You guys, not even close. I used almost everything for this bouquet. So when I go to make the envelope card, I'm gonna need some extra die cut pieces. Um, because I think I used every single greenery piece, um, all the little roses, buds. There was only like maybe four or five dyes left that I ended up not coloring. And even at that, I didn't realize I would use them all. But as I started building the bouquet, I ended up using every single one of these. Just really love them. I hope you guys are as excited about um, this release as I am. Or this really, I love when they bring out some of their My Monthly Hero um, exclusives, the things that the main kit items that don't come back in stock. The add ons um, do come back into stock and things, but the kit exclusive doesn't always, and it's just demand that brings those things back. So if there's ever anything that is just super popular that you really love and you want to see, definitely reach out or ask for it. Um, you know, it's not guaranteed, but I love, love, love when I see those kit components come back out. And then these little teeny tiny green sprigs are really great. I had quite a few of those, like four, maybe four or five. Now for the actual bouquet, I'm going to take some Lawn Fawn speckled, oh, sorry, background first. The background is Hero Hues Arctic cardstock, and I am again stamping it with that script bold print. Um, I did opt to use splash instead of pool play on this one. I think it's going to go a lot nicer with my butterflies, and I am going to, I apologize. I did not realize that my camera battery died while I was coloring those, so I did not get the coloring on camera. I am so sorry. Um, I will list those colors I used for that on my blog post in case you're curious. This bouquet is from Lawn Fawn Speckled Egg Cardstock. And then I am using this really great little text stamp. And it is from the Sending Love Mail stamp set. I want to make sure I'm saying that right, yes. It's that little kind of tiny little block of text and I am simply filling in the flaps. The back of it's not gonna show, but I want the flaps to have that beautiful little grungy text, text stamped with Simon Says Stamp khaki ink and then we'll fold it up and tuck all of our flowers inside. What I find works best is to not secure my bouquet wrapper until I have built the bouquet and my other big tip, I noticed this, you know, a year or so ago when I actually used the kit, is that don't use too much glue. I was, I used very, very sparingly glue because it gives you a lot more play to build this paper bouquet. So I'm adding tiny bits of glue and then tucking things down. There's not a lot of glue. I will add more when I go to put the bouquet on my card background. I pretty much have it full enough now that I can fold the flap over and secure it. And now I can go ahead and just add the rest of these beautiful little floral pieces. So this stamp set that the grungy text and what our sentiment come from, it was part of that my monthly hero kit as well with the dies. So they kind of, they brought it all out and it is, again, it's one of my favorites too. It has a lot of great sentiments. Um, I used hello friend. There's, I love you, thinking of you, congratulations, sending my love, happy birthday, happy Valentine's day. Thank you. Get well soon. Deepest sympathy and you're the best. Again, 
I chose the hello friend because I'm going to be sending this card out this week um, to one of you guys. You guys are my friends. Um, and so I want to, I wanted to use that, but you could just as easily create a sympathy card or thinking of you card. Um, and I love you card. Congratulations. Maybe this is a wedding card. Wouldn't that be a beautiful wedding card? So, or a birthday even. So there's lots of things you can do here. I'm gonna glue my bouquet to that text background. Ooh, and I found another little sprig. Well, let's not let that go to waste. Let's use it. And then we have butterflies. Oh, they're so pretty, you guys. I love, love, love them. I went ahead and adhered the blue one up at the top with foam adhesive and then I've got foam adhesive behind the wings on the full butterfly and then liquid adhesive behind the body and I'm just going to use some tweezers to kind of help pinch that and hold that guy um, in place on my card and then I'm going to take a scrap of white card stock and stamp my sentiment for my card so also in the dies for this set is a little like flag banner sentiment strip. One end is kind of straight, so you could use it either way. One straight and one is flagged. And my best tip is to line, in this case, I'm gonna li line up the flag end with one side of the sentiment, run it through my die cutting machine, flip it around and run it through again so both ends are flagged. So see how I lined it up with hello? Then I'm gonna just pull it out, take it out, line it back up, and run it through again. And then we're just gonna glue it in place right there on our bouquet, kind of underneath the little butterfly tail there. And then place this whole panel on a white top fold card base. And because that bouquet is kind of thick, I did use some tweezers to help hold my sentiment strip down and in place while the liquid glue was drying. So pretty, so much fun, and didn't take that long to do. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this spring card showcase featuring brand new Hero Arts Spring Release 2021 product. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Hero Arts product that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.